Hello everyone, welcome back once again. And today we are going to cover up the topic that is we will see some more functions that is methods L strip, R strip and the split function. Now these are th uh, three very important functions uh, of uh, for performing the string operations. Okay, so uh, let's get started immediately. So now this um, L strip and R strip. Now, normally there, there are many people who get confused with this function. So I'm going to take detail, um, you know, example and detailed explanation of this uh, particular functions. So let's get started. I will take a, uh, a string that is Anthony. Okay. And let us see how it works. Anthony. Okay. Now, first we will look at, look at the L strip. Now what happens is L strip if I give something like this and uh, if I say uh, S dot because it's a method so that's S has the value that is Anthony the string value okay and if I say something like a n a n so what this will do is L strip basically works like it will strip this particular substring from the left hand side. So basically it will strip these characters from uh, the string from the left hand side. Okay, so that is the meaning of uh, L strip which means from the left side and the R strip means from the right side. Okay, now let us see the output for this. I'll just save the program and we will see the output and uh, here is the output that is anthony that is not anthony just thony okay so a n actually has been stripped a n has been stripped you can see over here a n got stripped okay but what if if i give if i give n a okay n a so let us see the output and I will, I will tell you the output why we got this. We got the exact output. Okay, so A and got removed from the, uh, from the left hand side. Now this happened because uh, what the L strip does, it, it, it looks for all the combinations of NA. So that is NA and the second combination that can come down is AN. The third with individual characters also that is a and with n so if any of this uh, any of this substring any of these characters or a group of characters is found from the left hand side it will be removed from the it will be stripped uh, from that particular string so it basically checks for all the possible combinations understand it okay now let us take one example if what if if i make this as small a n a n now let us see the output for this. Now we got exactly what it is that is Anthony. Now why we got this output is because if you see the combinations, so that is A and the second combination that can come down is N A, the third can be N and fourth is you know A. Now what happened over here is it is not finding from the left hand side this capital A. Please understand so it's not like it has n so it will remove n it does not strip anything between the string the main string it will not strip any characters between the string understand so it's not like n will be removed and a will be as it is because a is not there so it, it, it doesn't work that way and normally this is what you know a lot of people get confused about L strip and R strip so it, it looks for a combination yes and and uh, this n it is there but it is in between so it needs this capital A or a combination of it understand it okay only in that case it will be stripped so what if, if I give three characters something like if I give uh, like uh, n a n uh, and T okay and a and T so let us see the cop uh, possible combination and a T right and then I can have and uh, capital a and T so you can see the combination already we have this combination over here 
right and there are some other combinations that we can come down right like a and and t and so on all the possible combinations you can check and see that okay it, it we are finding it over here right the combination is over here so if you see the output for this we will have the strip uh, string like hon h o n y because we had this possible combination but what if if i say if i say something like uh, if a is there and uh, this i will give something like o and this something like y so o and capital a and y so if you see the possible combinations for this we will have o a y or y a o and one possible combination can be a y o now what is happening over here is um, a so we have the first character as a or a sing simply a combination if you take it we can have a single a also single y single o single or a double you know all the possible combinations a by also so these are all the possible combinations combinations so if you see this capital a it exists over here the capital a so what it will do is and y o it is not finding from the left hand side so it it what it will do is if you see the combinations we will have only a and there are no other combinations that is fighting from the left hand side okay y a o it is not that okay yeah uh, or or a o uh, a y o even that it is not that so what what will happen is this a only the a will be removed will be stripped from the string okay so we can see only the capital a got stripped okay so this is how the l strip works and similarly the same formula the same principle the same principle is followed for the r strip also but the only difference is it will check from for the characters from the left hand side what if i keep the same o a y so can you guess what will be stripped so if you see the combinations we have y so we have the y over here and and we don't have so possibly we will have that is uh, only the y will be stripped okay let us just check this now okay so here it is only the y character got removed okay so i hope you understood this uh, tutorial how it exactly uh, works so you you have to actually go for all the possible combinations with uh, all the number of character with a single character with a double combination and with all the three combinations or uh, the number of characters that you are trying to strip you try to make all the possible combinations and then you will find it it's pretty easy actually okay so this is about the uh, the l strip and r strip and then uh, now we will just move on to uh, the split function now split function is uh, actually a very important function uh, because in the future we are going to deal with file handling and uh, there are many other uh, you know instances where we are going to use the split function so let us just see how the split function works so if you have uh, if i give this as um, some some string okay i just uh, remove this and uh, what if, if i give a sentence like i i want to live like animal okay animal careless careless and free isn't it everybody wants to live careless and free right so i want to live like 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 an animal careless and free okay i'll just remove this this comma from here okay okay so i want to live like an animal careless and free and now i will use the split function okay now split function split function basically returns a list okay so this is l now this is just a name of the variable i can have r i can have a okay but just just the, since it's a list so i'm just using the proper convention so i'm using a capital l as the name of my variable so it returns a list now i have told you in my previous tutorial that list is uh, is 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 very important uh, data type okay it's very important data type in python okay uh, and uh, we are going to look at this data type in future 
but at this point you just need to understand that the split function basically returns a string okay and this list sorry uh, returning a list and list will basically have the collection of items now what items will this list have okay i'll just print this list straight away okay now split fun function the split function what it will do is if we don't provide any character okay over here so if you don't pass any argument what it will do it will consider the space as the character and it will split this sentence with this spaces so basically it will return the uh, return the list which will have only i want to live like an animal so space won't be there so if you see the output i will show you the output over here okay so you can see this is a list this is our list look likes and these are the collection of items over here okay now we are going to see in detail about list in future but at this point just understand that list is a like it just has a collection of items so this is the first item that is i want to so there is no spaces these are separate separate units of that particular string okay so this is how it works uh, for example if i have i have something like commas over here now we cannot have a comma everywhere in a sentence but just for the example i'm uh, putting commas everywhere okay and uh, so in that case if you want that uh, i should get only the only the uh, main units that is i want i don't want these commas i have separated this all the uh, main units of the string by comma okay normally such a characters such like comma or uh, hash you can use hash it is uh, normally called as delimiter it is called as delimiter okay now we're going to see this uh, in future what exactly it means okay so delimiter we will see it in future now what i have to do is i have to give in split function as comma so what it will do is it will split this function with the commas removed okay by the commas removed because comma is kind of a delimiter over here so if you see the output the output will be same okay the output will, output will look like same okay so this comma do not get confused with this comma this comma is actually the uh, it is separated by uh, the uh, the items it belongs to the list okay so we have so if any any character normally what happens is we have some uh, notepad data which is separated by spaces or by some special characters and we just want the main main part of that uh, string in that case uh, you will be using the split function right uh, we have uh, you know a, a data in form like uh, i'll just show you an example like there is a name and uh, you know the, there is a kind of uh, the age something like age right and there are certain marks over here for student marks you can say so this is the name this is the age and it is separated by spaces so what you can do you can uh, you can have this only the main part using the split function okay so that's it uh, this is how the split function works and in future when we will work with the file handling at uh, that time uh, you will understand the proper working of split it's very important actually okay so you will actually understand how useful this function is so that's it for today so today i've covered three main uh, methods the string methods of python that is l strip r strip and the split uh, function okay bye for now so if you have liked my video, do subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe button in front of you. Click it right away. And after that, click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos. Bye for now.